All of a sudden, I felt a shove to my back. We're both really picking up on quite a few tragedies with children. It just feels like it's burning underneath your hands. Mm -hmm. As if somebody was watching and keeping an eye on things. You can actually feel the vibrations going like that, can't you? Right up your legs. Can, yeah. Children running and running about everywhere. It's a lot of panic. Yeah. There's a lot of panic. Yes. There's somebody behind me, Chris. OK. This week, the rescue mediums visit a subdivision in Maple, where a young family has been bothered by persistent spirits throughout their home. I suddenly heard a rustling, as if my daughter or somebody was outside the door. So I called out to her, and I assumed it was her, and I said, if you're there, come in. And I should have known it wasn't her, because she's taller than that would have been. Opened the door, and there was nothing there. I was looking up the stairs, and I actually seen a light. It was uh, somewhat white in origin, but not very bright. It fanned out to one side, and it just disappeared into itself. The rescue mediums are on their way to investigate. Jackie and Christine are internationally renowned psychics who spend their days and nights helping wayward spirits into the light. I was lying in bed one night. My husband was on night shift, and he wasn't around. All of a sudden, I felt a shove to my back. And it physically moved me in the bed. So I just turned all the lights on and slept with the lights on for a week. That was one of the scariest experiences, for sure. Jackie and Christine have been given no prior knowledge of their destination. Even the name of the town has been kept secret until now. But days earlier, they sit to discuss their premonitions. An old church or a chapel, a feeling of being followed and being watched, you know, as though somebody would think, oh, do you know, there's something... Some spirit is Yeah, is somebody behind me mm. and a bit... Mirrors, something about mirrors. Mirrors. Mm. Mm. One night, my wife and I were asleep upstairs. And we both woke up at the same time to this huge bang. I thought it was this mirror coming down. That's how loud it was. So we ran down here, and we could find no explanation for it whatsoever. Doctor's house connected. Yeah, yeah. I've got the doctor as well. Yeah. Doctor's yeah. well, I've actually I've drawn oh, have a you? doctor, oh. so yeah, it must be something there. As another form of premonition, the rescue mediums create psychic drawings of what they expect to encounter during their visit. Mm. And a body that was left unfound for quite Ooh, a while. Stinky. Oh well, I wasn't going to go quite that graphic, <laughs> but there we go. <laughs> We're just hoping that we can maybe find some connections. There's definitely something strange going on in this house, and I can't keep making excuses for all these things. Jackie and Christine are the rescue mediums. That wasn't too bad. Nice little motor. Very smart. Psychics who make house calls. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? How are you? Hi, I'm Chris. I'm Julia. This is my Hi, husband, Joel. Steve. Hi, Chris. Hi. Hi, I'm Jackie. Hi, Julian. Oh, we need to get in. Yeah. We're cold. Come in. Thank you. The rescue mediums sit down with the new mum and dad to share their premonitions. Cold day today. Yeah. Got a lot of things to uh, premonitions to go through with you. Okay. Yeah. A few things to show you. Have any of you seen like blue or white lights? Have any of you seen those twinkly lights? White. Light? Yeah. White. Yes, white. Yeah. It, that is spirit. That's not like spirit. Yeah, definitely. A, a sound that's heard, whistling sound or talking, and you look round, there's nobody there. Right. I've heard my name being called. Yeah. He's yeah. heard his yeah. name being called. Yeah. Uh, feeling of being watched or followed. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 That's, a, <laughs> that's an easy one. These two children passed in an accident of some kind. So we're both really picking up on quite a few tragedies with children. Mm -hmm. uh, a body that was left unfound for a while. 
Oh. Just could be to do with the land. Could or... be, eh? You, know, you may or may not recognise it. Maybe somewhere that we're going to. That's um, like a church or a chapel. Well, there there used to be a beautiful white church that had windows similar to yes, this. A very right. small yes. church that they unfortunately demolished oh. to expand a road. It was very sad yeah, to see it go. Right. Yeah, yeah, it was. I was very upset when they demolished yeah. it. Yeah. Um, How far away was that? Just up the just road. Just two minutes yeah. up the road. Two minutes yeah. up the road. Yeah. Or maybe we can solve the mystery. Yeah. yeah. The name of Walker. Johnny Walker. No. <laughs> I connect to you. We understand yes. Johnny yes. Walker. Yes, yes, we do. Yes. We do. Yes. <laughs> very good, that one. The rescue mediums decide to search the site of a recently demolished church only two blocks away to see if it holds any clues to the spirits that haunt this nursery. God, I feel weird now. The rescue mediums have been called to this quiet home in Maple where ancient spirits may have been disturbing this young family's peace. An earlier premonition prompts Jackie and Christine to investigate an area outside of the home a place where a church once stood. I don't, I feel like that area there, yeah. where the building was, do I you? Do. I don't, I've not got the same no. vibrations up here, no, on that there. corner there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Could the church's demolition have disturbed the spirits? Because the vibrations are definitely coming from the whole of the land. All over, yeah, yeah. yeah. The rescue mediums feel strong psychic vibrations in this area and are pulled to a walled corner of the construction site. Ooh, it's incredibly strong, isn't it? Do you know, even though it's really cold, this feels like as, as if it's burning underneath your hands. Try there, just try there. You feel? Yeah, yeah. I feel quite sad there, actually. Yeah, it's sad. The home is only two blocks from the site of the demolished church, and the rescue medium search the garden for more clues to the psychic energy. I'm not really picking anything other than like vibrations from under the ground. What I'm seeing at the moment is a lot of buzzing energies. Something happened where there was obviously panic or Something. Fear. Yes, it definitely, because I've just got a round of them. You no, know, you get them. Yeah. Like somebody's worked over your grave. Yeah. <laughs> Not a very nice one. Jackie and Christine re enter the home determined to find the source of these psychic vibrations. But once inside, a male spirit confronts them. I've just seen a huge blue orb. Oh, that was a real big, like a pale blue one. I've not seen one like that. The presence grows stronger. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think he walks about and I think he's been seen. I think he's I think he's the shadow yeah. that's been seen. Or one of the shadows that's been seen anyway. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I feel cold right behind me. I think it might be because he walks quickly. He walks quickly, so we, as if he would create a, a draft when he would walk. Gorgeous. Oh, oh, look. Can you hear giggling? Yeah. Yeah. because we can't see if you're hiding. Heart's racing fast. Is it? Mm. It's getting warm, isn't it? You're yeah, warm. Getting, yeah, I am I'm warm. I'm getting very yeah. warm. But that heat normally comes with children, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, I don't know about you, I how you know, feel I about that. I feel it might be more than one, but there's one of them that needs help. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Jackie and Christine sense that the child's spirits are distressed and lost. There's help that's needed, and, it, and it's like a quiet sort of help, you know what I mean? Yes. There's panic, and there's... there's there is. And sadness. And sadness. There's sadness. There's great sadness, yeah. yeah. God, this is nice. Wow.
Other than I would have been watched by somebody. As if somebody was watching. Keeping an eye on things. Yeah. Hmm. The rescue mediums follow the psychic energy into the den where it intensifies. This room currently serves as the nursery for the homeowner's newborn baby. The presence of the distressed children here is tremendously strong. People running, children running, and running about everywhere. There's, there's lots of them. I'll tell you something else I'm picking up as well now. You know, um, like uh, sickness, illness, uh, you know, like cholera or oh, something like that. Yeah. Uh, a lot of panic. Yeah. There's a lot of panic. Yeah, I, I can feel that too. God, I feel weird now. Do you? Yeah. Why? What are you feeling? I feel. I feel. You'd feel cold. Mm. So maybe it's the same. Pump. Look. Maybe it's. Oh yeah. And I've got a really like crushing feeling here now. Almost as if um, um, it's a hemorrhage, you know. Let's fill it full of light anyway to yeah, see what absolutely. happens. Yeah. Jackie and Christine begin to fill the room with psychic light in the hope of making contact. If anybody wants our help in the spirit world, come forward while we're filling with light. The rescue mediums have made contact with a male spirit connected to this present-day nursery and the distressed spirit children within. The vibrations here are strong. They are strong here. But is his connection benevolent or malicious? He's got the children. The rescue mediums have been called to this home in Maple, where spirits are disturbing the domestic peace of a young family with a newborn child. Throughout their investigation, the rescue mediums have sensed a strong male spirit that seems to be connected to a group of distressed spirit children. I feel, I feel sick now. I think there's a doctor there. Yeah. So he would have been with children. He would have worked with children a lot. I do feel that he walks right the way through this house. He's it's the land, through, yeah, he's walking all the way through. And he's through. checking everywhere. Yeah. I've just got an R-sounding name. So whether this, you know, this is connected him. to him. I think for any if any rescue, you need to be nearer to the ground. Yes, I would agree with that. Yeah. Jackie and Christine feel that this spirit's energy emanates from somewhere else in the house. Ooh. They descend to the basement in an attempt to locate the source. The vibrations here are strong. They are strong here, very strong here. What were we saying before? About sick children. Children, yeah. like an epidemic, like cholera yeah. or something like that. I wonder if that's to do with the children. The psychic vibrations here are disturbing. The rescue mediums feel a dark energy linked to the spirits of young children. Because you can actually feel the vibrations going like that, can't you? Right up your legs. Can, yeah, coming up from the earth. Do you know yeah. what it feels like? It feels as though it's like a, a vortex, not a portal, you know, like would be opened with something like, um, like a Ouija. This is like a natural energy, like, like a magnet right. that would be pulled. They fill the room with psychic light in another attempt to contact the spirits in this home. OK, so if anybody needs our help, Will you please come forward? OK, I don't know. Uh, you don't know what? I don't have a light. You don't have a light? No, I have a door. OK. There's a huge door here. Right. An old wooden door. We'll just go right. with it and see, see what happens. OK. There's somebody behind me, Chris. OK. Do you want to come forward? The rescue mediums have finally made contact with the spirit of the anxious doctor. Yeah, he's here. Yeah, here. Mm-hmm. It's like he's just, just stood there waiting. Just going to ask this doctor to stand back a little bit, otherwise I'll be okay. needing a doctor, cos it, yeah. it's getting a bit too close. This man 
was a good man. Mm. And he he liked, he loved, had a love of this community. Yeah. He's got the children. There's quite a lot though. Oh no. There's quite a lot. It was this was like an epidemic. He stayed here all this time. Oh bless. That's all nice, this time. Isn't it? Just to get help. Them through. Mm -hmm. His way of getting them through is for them to go through this door which goes into the light. Okay. So we're both going to have to do it together? Okay. We're going to have right. to get through together. With the rescue medium's help, the doctor is finally able to guide the spirit children into the light. This is very, very, very warm. And I just, I want to... Very warm. I want to touch the heads. People could be trapped all that time, but mm. they can. Mm. With the spirits of the children and the doctor shown into the light, the rescue mediums will combine their findings with independent research, and the physician's identity will finally be revealed. In Maple, the rescue mediums have encountered the spirit of a doctor and the spirits of several anxious children that he wished to save. Jackie and Christine now present their findings with independent research to see what matches up. I hope you've got comfy there, because uh, there's an awful lot to get through here. OK. All right. Christine's already mentioned to you about the feeling of bodies right. under the ground. A body that was left unfound for a while. We actually, within the premonitions, we put like, the skeletons and... We now know that there was an Indian burial ground discovered. A First Nations burial ground, estimated to be 300 to 500 years old, was discovered when a local road was widened in 2006. When we were down in the basement, we actually did a rescue. As soon as we came in here, there was a, a gentleman waiting to greet us. His name is Dr. Roland Orr. I think there's a doctor there. And an R, an R sounding name. And he was here, you know, you see something out the corner of your eye and it's gone, and you look, or there's yeah, a shadow. Yeah, like I was downstairs. Yeah. yeah, that's him. He's a lovely, lovely chap. He's very nice. So doctor. this is Dr. Roland Orr. Do you remember the doctor picture oh. we showed you? He hasn't got the glasses on, but other than that, he's virtually yeah. identical. Yeah. And he was the family doctor, and the family house was, like I say, roughly where this, this road is. Right. Dr. Orr was a respected member of the community and practised medicine in the area from 1877 to 1905. But how was he connected to the child spirits? The doctor had um, a lot of children with him, and they trusted him. What were we saying before? About sick children. Children, yeah. like an epidemic, like cholera yeah. or something like that. In fact, there was an epidemic during the time, or during his time frame that he was here, so there would have been a lot of deaths right. at that time. In 1881, consumption was listed as the cause of 28 deaths in the area. And as the general practitioner, all the community's children would have been the responsibility of Dr. Roland Orr. The chapel that he would have attended would have been Teston Chapel. That's um, like a church or a chapel. It's the spirits that can, are contained where the Teston church was. The spirits of the people who, who loved to be there, who felt safe there, it was a haven. The Teston chapel was originally a Methodist church built in the mid-1800s. It stood until it was demolished in 2006 to make way for the Teston Road expansion. When the, the church was pulled down, it, it sounds very much as if he was gathering all his flock together right. and bringing them right, here. Right. It's like this is a meeting point. In our house? Yes. Right. And the doctor brought the congregation, that was the point where they felt safe, mm -hmm. brought the whole of the congregation back 
mm. to a meeting point, and this was the meeting point. The noises and bangs yeah. and things were just to get the attention mm. of people like ourselves. When they expanded the road, uh, or tried to, that's when things really mm. started Picked getting... up around here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. getting yeah. crazy. Yeah. Buildings can be destroyed and can be rebuilt. Mm -hmm. It's the spirit within, within that building. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Right. So how do you feel about oh. that then? <laughs> well, <laughs> it makes a lot of sense. It does. It all kind of, it, it all ties together. It's it was so noisy in here. <laughs> <laughs> the rescue mediums say goodbye to Stephen and Julia, knowing that the family's peace has been restored. This is it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for your help. You're it's welcome. Great to meet you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for Bye. letting us come into thank your thank home. You. Thank you. Drive, yeah. Drive and thank safe. you on behalf of all the spirits that you've helped as well. Oh, yeah. and to you too. Yeah. Everything will be fine now. It will. We're hoping. Yeah. Yeah. Elizabeth is we happy here. Trust us. We're mediums. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye. Drive safely. Bye. 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 The rescue medium's corporeal spirits are a little more subdued than usual. Cheers. 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 Jackie. What's wrong, Christine? That's just tonic. I have to drive. We can get back to the hotel, and then we can have a drink. Now, that's smart. It is smart. <laughs> oh, no. Hey! <laughs>